everyone. Welcome to You Like That Extra. My name is Jack. I am one half of You Like That Extra. Uh, my name is Adam. I am the other half of You Like That Extra. One day I'll remember what I say at the start and the end and the middle of all of these. Now is not that time. No, it's not. Um, this week, uh, last week, I put the votes up. It was 1995. I don't remember any of the other votes, but Batman Forever won. <laughs> I don't remember anything else either. <laughs> we put them Shit. up so long before recording that it's just yeah. You know, yeah. So much happens, even in lockdown. Like as time passes, just so much happens in between. Yeah, exactly. Right. Putting those votes up and actually recording this, but we're recording this. It's a Joel Schumacher film from 1995. It's the third film in the Batman, the early Batman franchise. It's a sequel to Batman mm-hmm. Returns. Um, Tim Burton, Michael Keaton, both did not return for this movie. Yes. Uh, Tim Burton was on until pretty late, and then he was just like, nah, I'll just produce it and keep getting money. Michael Keaton was on board until Joel Schumacher got on board because Joel Schumacher was very passionate about doing Two-Face as well as the Riddler, mm. whereas Michael Keaton was under the impression that it was just going to be the Riddler. So okay. Michael Keaton was like, yeah, it's too much. I don't want to read this much. <laughs> I don't want to like know this much about villains, so mm. I just, nah. Cut 20 years later. Yeah, so... He's back again, learning about two different <laughs> fucking major <laughs> timelines. So, yeah. yeah. So, uh, Val Kilmer signed on, which I think is a good casting uh, budget at the time. A hundred million US dollars. It's a lot of money. Yeah, 95, like, yeah. Yeah, that's, that, that's like, pretty big. For a superhero movie now, that's not a lot. But back then, fucking hell. Mm. Box office say 336.6 million US dollars. So, it did quite well. Yeah. Because the internet wasn't around back then. Starring Val Kilmer, Jim Carrey, Nicole Kidman, Tommy Lee Jones, Chris O'Donnell, and a brief spot by Drew Barrymore. Mm-hmm. The plot. Uh, oh, no, wait, we'll get to that. No, we'll do the plot first. <laughs> uh, Batman takes on both Two-Face and the Riddler because the Riddler is going to do like a brain-sucking weapon on yeah. Gotham. Yeah. And Two-Face is also there. <laughs> it's just having a good time. <laughs> um, critics score 38%. Audience score thirty two percent. So, uh, judging by those numbers, Adam, what did you think of the movie Batman Forever? <laughs> this movie is not for me. <laughs> Which is I, weird to say for a Batman movie. <laughs> I, I, I'm a huge Batman fan. Like, really love Batman. I've never watched any of the original Batman movies. Like, this was my first time viewing this one. There was a period where I had briefly turned on Batman. Uh, Batman and Robin, whichever one has... Which is the one after this. Yeah, the one that had Arnie. Arnie is the... Uh, yeah, that's Batman and Robin. Frosty Man. Um, and I didn't get very far through that <laughs> one at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> they never piqued my interest on these uh, these original ones. And after watching this, it's either just because it's just not holding up to its time, it's just something completely different to what I was expecting, and it's just... Ah, oh, man, it just sucked ass, didn't it? Typical superhero movie, it ain't. Yeah, no, it's um, it's weird because we we're just talking about in our Suicide, uh, suicide Squad uh, about like James Gunn making it very like comical and silly in the costumes and that. And that's sort of what this movie is. Like, It's very like silly, and especially in its costumes and the way that it's shot. It's shot like it's, a, it's taken from a strip of comic. Yeah. It's really weird, but... It's just not sticking and it's not hitting for me. And boy, there's not a lot of Batman in this movie. Yeah, he's not Batman very often, is he? Not much. A lot of Two Face, a lot of Riddler, but then just a lot of nothing around as well. (laughs) Yeah, it doesn't need to be two hours. No, it doesn't need to be two hours. And I had to spin this out over two nights because I fell asleep the first (laughs) night. Grant is because I had it very early in the morning at work, so I just couldn't stay awake anyway. I'm an old man. I'm an old man. I just woke up from a nap. Longer than I was expecting. I was going down for an hour and I woke up two and a half hours later. But hey, all the best naps happen that way, don't they? Um, but yeah, it's just it's, it's just not very good. Well, I don't have the nostalgia for these movies. Like I watched this whole... I watched all four of them when I was like 22, 23. Yeah. So I don't have rose-tinted glasses for them. I think this is the second best Batman movie we have. I love this movie with all of my heart. Everything you were just saying that you didn't like about it, I... Loved about it. Uh, I that's fair. had the best time of my fucking life watching this movie for a second time. I think this movie is fucking incredible. Um, oh, uh, it's the most geez. 90s movie in the world, so of yeah. course. 
already that's tipping my bias yep. pretty high. Um, I like Val Kilmer a lot. I think Val Kilmer is a good Bruce Wayne because he's just like weird. Like he's just like he's not an ex- eccentric billionaire. He's like a shut-in billionaire. So he's just kind of weird. And when he's talking to Nicole Kidman, it's almost like it's just creepy, isn't it? Uh, there's like he's man. caught. He's trying to court her, but he's just a weird cunt. <laughs> there's just something about his face that I don't like. Yeah. I can I'm see looking that. at it. I I'm just like, fucking that. suck. I hate seeing your face <laughs> right now. As Wayne and as Batman. As Batman, a little bit worse because he's just so stiff and just. Yeah, and he's got those big, the big top lip. So when Nicole Kidman yeah, doesn't yeah, recognize yeah. him, even though he's got the most distinctive, like, giant lip. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, okay. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Nicole Kidman uh, falls in love with Batman. <laughs> And it's like so fucking horny for him. She's like whispering in his ear and shit. Like, hey, yeah. meet me on my balcony after midnight. Yeah. Don't tell Bruce Wayne because I'm like, I think I'm just going to shack up with him. But then just bang Batman on the side. Yeah, 100%. That's kind of sick. Is she just expecting him to wear the suit the whole time? Well, yeah, that's what where that scene is headed. <laughs> yeah. It seems like she doesn't want the illusion to be ruined that there's they're someone macking under on, the Batman. Yeah, they're macking on and she touches it and then it's like just so synthetically rubber and it must feel <laughs> so gross and she's like, nah, fuck this. <laughs> but it's so colourful and it's just so overblown. Like, like contrast, they just went whoom like yeah, that. Yeah. And it looks horrible and the... Yes, it is. And like, Gotham looks terrible. You know, in the first Spider-Man game on PS1, there's mm. no floors and the buildings are the same texture again and again. And <laughs> yeah. like, if you fall, it's just fog. That, yep. This movie is that. Mm. Like, the the VFX are that. And then sometimes there'll be a bit of detail, like a sign or whatever. Yeah. But otherwise, it looks terrible. Like, it yeah. looks horrendous. It's, it's not good looking at all. And, and it's not explained at all because, like, if the Batmobile's driving along a street, it's just a normal street. Like, it doesn't look shit like it does yeah, from the yeah, air yeah. when they shoot it like they yeah. didn't there's no continuity between vfx and the road ah i love this movie so much That's and it's jim so carrey weird. just being full-blown crazy just unhinged jim carrey and he gets more and more unhinged because of the character has yeah. to and he clearly like there was no script just so no, obvious they just went just be yourself you know Ace Ventura would just come out of that point. So He's as, just like, I've yeah, got it going. I know as what you were doing. saying, it's mostly Two Face and mostly the Riddler. Yeah. That's like eighty percent of this. Movie. Which I will say, Tommy Lee Jones, I thought was fantastic. Tommy Lee Jones is great. He's hammering it up. He's he chewing. Was the every one thing bit of scenery. that I was like, all right, if there's one thing I'm going to take that I like from this movie, Tommy Lee Jones is is, is fantastic. And, and there's so many nods. Like they had to do this because Robert is such a stupid terrible character <laughs> like robin what were they thinking um there's heaps of throwbacks to the 60s like the whole soundtrack is like wacky and goofy the whole yep. time there's no real like there's a bit of spider-man one danny elfman sort of stuff I don't, I don't remember i should have written it down i don't remember who did the score i'm sorry but yeah every now and then they throw in some wacky 60s stuff and like tommy lee jones is straight out of the 60s in this yep. like like, when he reacts to stuff, it's so big and he, like, grabs his face and goes, ah, and yeah. you know, like... If, it's, yeah, he's, he full when Bat- goes into When it. Batman survives something, or you know, he, he just, like... It's just so over the top and I just love it so much. Yeah. But they have so much screen time together. Very famously, Tommy Lee Jones is not the biggest fan of Jim Carrey. Um, Jim Carrey approached him at dinner once while, while they were shooting this movie. Mm. They were, like, just off... Uh, like offset whatever yeah, just yeah, having yeah. catering uh jim carrey went up said can i join you for dinner this is the direct <laughs> it's going to be really hard to read through this without laughing because this is my favorite quote of all time T- uh, tommy lee jones said to jim carrey i hate you <laughs> strong star <laughs> i really don't like you and i cannot sanction your buffoonery <laughs> 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 It's the nicest way to tell someone to fuck off. I cannot <laughs> sanction your buffoonery. So clearly, like, Jim Carrey's known oh, like fuck. to just stay in character and be a bit much offset. Yeah. But from what I can tell, Jim Carrey just went up and was like, hey, can I sit at this table? Yeah. And then Tommy Lee Jones just hits him with that. Oh, God. Fucking hell. That's, oh, that's yeah. brutal. But on screen, you can't tell at all. Like, Jim Carrey's like arm around him, like getting all up in his grill and they're playing Battleship. Yeah. <laughs> For yeah. some reason, yeah. why? Who knows? But hey, yeah, you gotta, yeah, you, you got, you gotta take that and go. Yeah, right. He he might be right there, yeah. but 
fuck, I'm just really hungry. So the it? yeah, the Riddler, Edward Nigma, it's the it's Jamie Foxx's Electro. He's just yeah. like a little nerdy dude, like worships Bruce Wayne. Yeah. Bruce Wayne says, No, you can't do this thing, and then he just loses his mind and goes crazy. Mm-hmm. Um eventually becomes like cool and and like he throws a party rich. for himself. Yeah, he becomes rich because his technology just totally yeah. takes off. His stocks are out doing yeah. Wayne Enterprise. Yeah. Everyone's like, ah, oh, Wayne's outdated. Wayne's done. Mm. He's not. He's fine. He's just Batman and it, it, still yeah. has a lot of money. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, and then what happens? He sucks too many brain waves. He sucks too many people's dreams. Mm-hmm. And then his head gets all big and he just sort of falls over and dies. Yeah. <clears throat> But his costumes get more and more wacky. His hair gets more and more wacky. Like, it gets more pink at one point, mm. And then his leotard matches it. Like, he's only in that green suit for a couple of scenes. Yeah. And like, a couple That's... of scenes with Tommy Lee Jones, not even with Batman. Yeah. <laughs> and Batman doesn't punch on or anything. No, no, no. Uh, there's a lot of goons. A lot of goons Batman punches on with. Yeah. Instead, they're all like... A lot of goons that I'm probably sure have done a lot of porn in their time. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. Because there's a lot of them. <laughs> yeah, just bring your own costume. Yeah, pretty much. But yeah, like, um, I don't think Val Kilmer did any of this. I think it was all a stuntman. But oh, it would fucking would have had to be. But there's sure. like, yeah, there's some good, some good fighting, but the suit is, as you said before, he can't move in it. Yeah. Very clearly cannot move in it. So yeah. the stuntman had his work cut out for him. Yeah, very but stiff. But there's still some good it. flips and stuff. Yeah, look, practicality in this movie was pretty, pretty on point. Yeah, you know, it was a very. Uh, if something's going to get blown up, it's going to get blown up. Oh yeah. uh, we're going to use everything we can to make it look like an explosion. Yeah, and yeah, props for that where it's due. And but I mean, ultimately, some things don't look as good as no. Some things have aged. <laughs> but um, it's nineteen ninety five, the slowest car chase in the world. <laughs> like Tommy Lee Jones walks out in front of the Batmobile. And then it cuts to, like, Batman, and he, like, reacts and goes, oh, fuck. But on the street, they're clearly doing maybe three miles an hour. Yeah. Maybe. And they don't try and speed it up. They don't try and make it, like, none of the cars crash into each other and spin mm. each other out because they're not going fast enough to. Yeah. It's just, like, they had to have known that doesn't look good. <laughs> Surely. It's at not some point. exciting because they built the Batmobile and clearly just didn't have much to do with it. Yeah. I think it's the. I think it's one of the better looking Batmobiles. Yeah, it's not. It's not a terrible Batmobile at all. I don't like the tank of the new ones. I don't like that. I like it when they're all over the top and batty. <sighs> Look, see the the Dark Knight one, where it's just like the full fucking like Jeep Ranger looking thing. Yeah, and with a just, motorbike in it. Yeah, I really like that one. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why. It's very Batman. It's, it's very modern Batman. Yeah, speaking of Batman, he does some detective work at the beginning. He cracks a safe that's floating above the thing. Mm. Like my, my criticism of the Nolan Batmans is he's just not a detective at all. He doesn't do any detecting except Alfred's sonar computer where he just finds people. Yeah. But this one, he does a bit of detectiving. Um, I guess the last thing to talk about is the elephant in the room is Robin, Chris O'Donnell. Mm. Bad, isn't it? <laughs> Boy, it's not great. <laughs> God. Uh, okay, so Robin, Robin's introduced. He has a, he, his family dies in front of him at the circus because mm-hmm. they're all on the same trapeze trying to stop a bomb. Yep. That, that's actual. That happens. <laughs> that's, you say that happened? The actual plot point. Yep. Uh, Chris O'Donnell's fine because he goes up and stops the bomb another way or something. Yeah, he carries it all the way up and then lets it float off into the ocean. Again, and... very 60s. There's this big prop with a big clock on it and yeah. it looks stupid as hell. Yeah. But Robin, he's just a prick. He's just a fucking prick. Yeah, not a great guy. And not a fun prick. It's not a funny prick. He's nah. just a prick. Nah. Yeah. Like 90s edgelord. Yeah, he's just a weird one to put together. Chris O'Donnell is cast well, I guess. Because he's he looks like a bit of a prick. He's got a punchable head. Yeah, and I mean the single uh, the single ear piercing, yeah, sort of. Yeah, that dates it. That that, that brings it in as well because the big like loop one, like the flat loop. Yeah, you're just like fucking why? Yeah, it but was sure. Very, um, very, the boy band boom had happened, yeah. so that was very. But yeah, and then he's he he's just like re- not reluctantly. The other word, incessantly hounding Batman. He's just like, I'm just going to follow you around. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, There's something much. Batman could Batman could break him in half. 100%. You gotta be fucking careful talking to Batman like that. Are you yeah. serious? You got some gall. And Alfred's just on his side. Alfred's like, ah, you were a young prick too who did what you wanted. Yeah. Look after him. 
And Batman's like, Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Fine. You're my will. only father figure, Hulk Hogan. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, Robin, uh, he... He doesn't even have a big hero moment at the end because he just gets stuck on a chain. Yeah, he, kind of he gets, he gets up. captured straight away. Yeah, well, he's just like what the, the Batman's riding the Batwing to the fucking place, and then yeah. Robin's in the boat. Yeah, the boat gets fucked boat up, gets and he gets up. he gets ejecto cedo caused. Yeah, and then yeah, and, and then he gets captured. Edward Nigma catches him, yeah. and he's just in a tube. Um, uh, he pulls Batman out of some gravel. Yep, which Batman could probably pretty easily get out. Didn't seem like he was that far under. Didn't it. seem that threatening. Yep. at all. And then, uh, uh, oh, yeah. there's a fucking great stunt, a Jack's nerdy stunt corner back when they bl- <laughs> so they the Two Face flamethrower is Batman, mm. right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the scene cuts, and then it starts with the whole room on fire with Batman in there. And he's in there for a minute, and then he runs out. So the stuntman yeah. was in fully engulfed fire in a room, and then runs out still on fire. Yeah, that's an insane stunt. Like it's really cool to have to stand in that room, get it set on fire, and then run out of it. Like yeah. he would have been in fire for 15, 18 seconds maybe. That's terrifying. It's <laughs> that's fuck. a baller move. I should have written down the stuntman's name. I'm sorry, I didn't. That's I've right. Already closed- Shout out you. Shout out you. I've already closed my word document. Big man. But yeah, Robin sucks. Uh, the ending is not very exciting at all. They're, they're just on an island. Uh, yeah, uh... And they give him the the, shop, the the train track decision. Like, uh, save yeah. Nicole Kidman, who you save love. Save her or save or Robin. Save Robin, who you're for some reason responsible for. So what does for. he do? He saves them both. Saves both. Of course he does. And just lets Two-Face absolutely fucking plummet. <laughs> this is a jagged... Horrible, painful, deathy rocks. But just quickly on the the fucking the, the train track decision yeah, here. Yeah. So it's given that you can save one or the other. Yeah. And it clearly looks like they're both hanging over their own holes. Yeah. But at the end of that scene, <laughs> they both get dumped. Yeah. They're falling in the same hole. Correct. <laughs> uh, maybe the pulley system like went down in a Y shape. They also, kinda... he's known both of them for maybe three days, <laughs> <laughs> and he's already this attached to him. Like, yeah, Brucey, I know you got some issues, but like, you well, can't he be knows that he's, he knows he's getting the Who pussy from me? one hand. Yeah, he's like, all right, there's, there's some good pussy for me there. Yeah, the other one's like, there's someone that can take half the load. Oh yeah, God, yeah, he could like have some nights off. Missions. He could have some nights off for the pussy. Yeah, you know, go, Robin, go, is go fucking so nice. hot in this movie. Yeah. Jesus Christ, what a but, look up. Yeah, just falling down that same hole. It's just like, uh, uh, that made it like... It made it much relevant. easier for Batman to save them yeah. as well. Yeah, he's <laughs> like, like, all right, sweet. The, the stakes just one battering bang, away. second one bang. Yeah, it's sweet. Yeah. Good. But anyway, then the Probably movie good. ends and they're all just best friends. Uh, Robin's just like, hey, I'm going to be Robin. <clears> and they run in silhouette towards the camera and the movie ends. Yep. That's Batman Forever. It's a neon CG nightmare that I adore very much. It's so campy. It's so stupid. It's so overblown. And that is why I love it very much. And that's why Adam... It's just so weird, man. Like <laughs> It doesn't need to be two hours. There's a lot of fat that could uh, be cut out this of This is just why that, yeah, just, I just don't understand you in your movies. It's weird, hey? <laughs> you just, you just, Absolutely uh, nobody can pick it. We've done, we've done 80 main show episodes, and this is like 26-odd fucking yep. extra. Yep. All these movies that we've watched. Yeah. So many things I've picked being like, yeah, that's a Jack movie and you're like, oh, this fucking sucked. Yeah. And then once where I'm like, no, this movie sucked, you're like, oh, it's one of my favourite movies ever. I can't. I, I don't can't, fucking can't get you. Literally can't disagree. <laughs> you're I, absolutely I don't right. get it. I saw the tomato scores. I'm like, yeah, fucking everyone hated this. No. And then you're here like, it's the second best Batman. And I, yeah. And just like, the context of me not having the nostalgia makes that even weirder. Yeah, exactly. The fact that I didn't grow up on this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Because then it's like, okay, I can understand if you grew up at the time. No nope. worries. Nope, but going into it now, watched it like, maybe six years ago for the first time. <laughs> fuck, like it's oh god, you're I love, a weird one. You're I love enigma. this movie. Uh, yeah, I'm glad it won the votes. Thank you for voting every week. Yes, uh, there wasn't a vote this week because no. I, I couldn't theme it. Adam wanted to do a movie, so I was like, "Yeah, we'll just do it." Yeah, look, I, I, I like fucked up movies. Okay. So, uh, no, no surprise there. Um, I, I gazed upon my shelf and I saw the Green Inferno, and I went. Fuck, I need to watch that again. And what then I thought, reason? hey, for let's try and do a, <laughs> a gross, like, Amazonian tribe cannibal type movie. Yeah. And it was like, I had this, Apocalypto. Like, yeah. And then we're like, 
Cannibal Holocaust, but it's like... I don't really want to watch that again. I don't want to talk about it again. I I never haven't seen that one. I don't want to make people watch it. It's just not pleasant. The Green Inferno is new enough. Uh, yeah. it's, it's only people just know two Eli Roth. Old. People know and like Eli Roth is great, so. and I think I think this is a this is a decent movie that's got. It's, but it's usually, shots. you can go to Instagram and vote for what movie you want to talk about. Us, the power is in your hands. Correct. So it's very important that you follow us on Instagram. That goes up every Monday, uh, later and later at night, as I <laughs> <laughs> slowly forget. But it is always yeah. on Monday. Yeah. Um, main show goes up on Tuesday mm-hmm. and Sunday. Tuesday, YouTube, Sunday audio. Yes, yes. Uh, Suicide Squad is up now. Suicide I didn't Squad. do it on the Tuesday because, uh, well, the weather was not uh, appealing. Yeah. And I thought, uh, hmm, people are talking about blackouts around the area. <laughs> Don't want my computer to fry out as it already has. Good call. So it's up now, though. It's up now. If you like us talking about movies, we do. We talk for almost 45 minutes just on the movie. Yeah, which is uh, weird. It's weird different. for us. That's when you know it's that a good, good movie. It was fun, yeah. Uh, don't remember what the movie is this week, but we'll see you on Sunday for the main show review. Uh, please go to Instagram. There's a link tree in the bio. That takes you wherever you want to watch us, listen mm-hmm. to us, subscribe, follow, screenshot, and share, and tag us on Instagram. That always helps. If you're on YouTube, please like and subscribe. Please, like... <laughs> Please. Please, that just does so much. We're nearly it's at 150. Only, yeah, it's only two videos a week. We don't blow up your sub box or anything. But we could. If you want you like to. that podcast dot store, you can get some merch, uh, custom made for yourself, made to order, ready to go. Which I did just see uh, the supplier is actually very out of stock on a lot of sizes. Hell yeah! I didn't realize, and uh, someone told me, and I was just like, "Whoop!" Better <laughs> try and find some alternatives. But uh, your size may not be available, but check all the colors. There's a lot of color palettes there you can check. Thank you to everyone who has bought something. Yes, but you all look gorgeous. Sunday. My name has been Jack and will continue to be Jack. I am one half of the You Like That Extra. And, of course, my name is Adam, the other half of You Like That Extra. And I will also see you guys then. See you then. Bye. Bye.